All right, you guys. Hello. It's been a long time coming for this video. Okay. My voice cracking. Y'all, work has had me so busy. It's very ridiculous. Kratos, enough. Yeah, that's all that. Jeff is actually trying to be a good girl. And you out here instigating stuff. Um, uh, Jeff, get on back, girl. Get on back. Um, so this is this technically today would be a Samara or not? It would be a Samara and Kratos day, which that will happen. But we're starting with these two because they have not played this week because of my stupid busy schedule. Um, and also, Jack play days fall on um, Monday and Wednesdays, which are days that they also have class, and I, they're just completely super busy. And I've missed the mark on them, so let's get it started. Jack is uh, wearing an e-collar. Let's do this. Okay. Mm. This is like Kratos is being a rude dog. That's, I have noticed that too. He's been a bit of a rude boy lately, so I may need to um, switch up the e-collar because currently Jack is wearing it, but we'll see. Because he's not wearing it, so I can't really give corrections right now. At least as far as him. I mean, I could say stuff, but Kratos is a bit of a butthead, so. Now this will definitely burn out plenty of energy for when I get Samara out here, so. Should be good stuff. It's a nice cool day today. It's not actually as cool as it was. It's like it's like 65. It was like like 60s, high 50s earlier this morning and yesterday. So it's a bit warmer out today, but not too too much. Um, so they should be good. Yeah, I knew they need to use the bathroom. That's what they should have been trying to do from the beginning. <laughs> and Jackie, you. Jack can technically outrun Kratos. But she gotta be careful. She gotta be careful. Mm. Yeah, and like I said, Kratos is technically being a rude boy right now, but like I mentioned before, um, like he learned this behavior from Jack. Like as you guys have seen, um, you know, he doesn't do, I mean, he's still very high energy, but he's a puppy, but he doesn't do the same thing with Samara, right? Um, so, you know, it's just learned behavior. It's like, okay, with this dog, I do this. And so, Jack's basically just reaping what she sowed. She taught Jack uh, Kratos to play that way. And now she's going to be kind of on the receiving end of that. And she actually technically will be with most of my dogs. At least the dogs that will play with her. Um, you know, as soon as they're old enough. Because any other dogs I get, like, I do plan on getting another small dog one day. But just not in my, in, like, in the future future. She's like, yeah, I just, you know, that's just always been, like, something that I thought would I would do. So I do like teaching them how to, like, leave leave things alone. It's really helpful for, for just training purposes. Um, I also love my little tiny chihuahua, like, the best. I love dogs who can just scoop up and move. But anyway, um, so I will end up getting a small dog, but Paco's going to be the only small dog for a while. Because the thing is, if I do get a small dog, I'll probably get a dog as a puppy and that's just not I'm not gonna get a small a small breed dog as a puppy with these puppies <laughs> like with these giant puppies you know what I'm saying like they have to be much better behaved um, much more mellow before I even get to that point so um, so it's a long ways coming so any of the other dogs I'm gonna get in the future but I do have rough plans for at least one um, my original plan was to get two breeding females for or for Kratos which will eventually will happen like I'll get more breeding females but I think for the moment what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use Samara for maybe like a year or two um when she's actually able to breed right like so for when she started starts to breed i'll probably use her for like a year or two before i actually bring another female uh a, a female that creatures can breed with um inside the house just because i have a lot of dogs you guys <laughs> i'm just one person um so you know it's just easier to manage puppies are a lot of work you guys like these guys are technically still puppies they they and they do a lot they're really well behaved but you know they're very clearly still puppies uh they cannot sit still all day they they can sit still for most of the day inside the house i'm working which i really appreciate that but um they can't still sit still all day and also it's just kind of in their breed too which is just definitely a thing about it um but you know easily distracted all that other stuff so they're still pretty young look at my pretty girl jack is so gorgeous Oh, excuse you. You were posing, and now she moves on. Okay. You back? Hi, pretty girl. Hi. Yeah, I'm talking to you, missus. 
<laughs> um, but I do, I, there is another dog that I want to get, which I, I think I might breed this particular dog. It won't be a Ogre Team Mastiff or um, any bully breed, actually. Uh, it will still be a larger dog, but, um, but honestly, just one is a pet. <laughs> um, but that might be in the making in the next two years after my puppies stop being, as soon as I'm ready for another dog, you know, be good. Um, but I'm not, like, I, Samara needs to be trained on their level. Samara basically needs to be trained. What is going on here? Like, in the last two minutes, my, um, battery has went from 40% charge to me getting a 10% notice. Like, my phone is absolute crap, you guys. Like, I cannot even begin to tell you. Jack, you better not. Okay, she's getting a little bit too close to the actual little pond part, and I don't want to drink in that water. We literally just came from the side. Like, they have fresh water. I think I need to refill Samara, but they get fresh water first thing in the morning. So, like, their bowls stay full until basically the end of the day. So, they're good. But since it hasn't been hot as hot lately. Anyway, you guys. Um, but, yeah. But, anyway, point is, is that Jack's going to be the smallest of the dogs who I who will actually play with her. Because Paco's not going to play with her at all like ever um, Paco is a people person um not a dog person so um Jack's gonna be the smallest once my, my other dogs are full grown I mean she's already I mean she's uh, she's not really already technically by the end by the beginning of next year she will be the second smallest dog like because Mara will be her size or um you know a little bit bigger imagine around her size though um right around five to six months but anyway the point is is that she's not all this rough housing she does, she's going to be on the receiving end of it real soon. And for the rest of her time here. Because Jack is a pet. Uh, Paco's a pet. Curtis is a pet. So they're going to be with me forever. Um, so she's just going to adjust her play style. <laughs> Our dogs are just going to be, or, you know, like Kratos is playing pretty rough with her. Um, you know, other dogs will do the same thing. So I don't know if you guys can hear Samara making little sad puppy noises. She just came from inside. Do I see all the freaking holes she's digging in my yard? She, she tends to go back to some, but you guys can see, like, just those little spaces right there where she's digging. And then right here, very clearly, she's digging. And then there's a hole right there that she's digging. And then this area right here, um, it was where the little tether thing, that little screw, actually right there, was. And then Jack and her Kratos, or possibly both, kept pulling it out, so it just made a hole. And then between um, Samara and Kratos, which Kratos actually started that one. He started that one, but they've just started digging holes. And... Kratos is the kind of dog who's like, oh, there's a hole here that somebody's dug. Let me help them out. And so he's just adding to it. But uh -uh. Jack thinks that she can uh, keep something for herself. And at one point, Kratos would have been like, okay, fine, you can have it. But he's he's beyond that point now. Like I said, like I said, inside the house. I've actually, I don't know if I actually talked about this because I haven't really recorded good quality videos on the regular lately. But um, inside the house. Um, he started, and he's getting in trouble for this because it's unnecessary, but he's starting to guard, to guard his space. So if he doesn't want another dog, um, you know, walking past him, or even there's this one instance where Paco's bed, so Paco has beds, like Paco has specific beds. Um, and that's simply because he's a small dog, he's an old dog, he has little orthopedic bags that really only he can fit in. I mean, Samara can fit, at, fit in them at the moment, but he's going to be the only dog that can really fit in them at a certain point. Um, so he has beds that I don't let them lay in. Like, they cannot go over there and push him off. Those beds, those, like, that bed, like, those, those are his beds, right? Um, but the other dogs, they have, like, blankets, and they don't have beds themselves yet. I mean, I do plan on doing that, but really we're just starting to work on Kratos stopping, like, not chewing on things. Because he likes to tear things up. Um, anyway, but we, I recently got them a little heating pad that they can lay on. Um, and they like to lay on that and basically in the evenings after things are settling down they'll go and they'll lay on that and they'll take a nap or whatever um but recently Kratos has just like decided to kind of um lay by things and guard things so while he wasn't laying in Paco's bed he was like he was um he wasn't laying in it but he was laying by it and Paco tried to get over there and he started to he like basically like jumped like not like jumped at him but, but kind of like jumped at him and did like a bark and um so I had to correct him put him in his kennel with no with nothing to lay on um, I gotta clean up the yard too, y'all. Uh, I've been, I've been crazy, crazy. It's like technically I can like go back and sit down and do a whole bunch more work, but um, but it's five o'clock. 
And I've been doing that all week, and it's Thursday. I did that all last week, you guys. I'm tired. Um, I mean, I, it's really, like, it really get better once I can actually organize myself better. And I'm like, you know, this is my first month actually doing my job, so it's going to take some time. Next, each month will get better, but this is my first month, and it's, it's a little bit rough. <laughs> anyway, the um, point is, is that, so I said, I, 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 absolutely not. Put him in his submission posture, and then put him in his kennel without anything to lay on. Uh, but he's also done the same thing with just because I the sleep the, the pad that I have you guys might have seen I'm not actually sure I have no school what I've been recording lately you guys but basically there's a pad it's like a little gray pad and I lay it kind of right at the corner of the carpet that I have in my in my living room so and my live I have a small house and so if any of the dogs are laying right there like Paco has to basically like step on them to get past them I mean not necessarily maybe with, with Kratos for sure depending on how he's laying if he's in a little donut, you know, Paco could definitely walk past him without, you know, touching him. But otherwise, he has to kind of, like, squeeze past him or step over him or whatever. Which Paco never steps over. He tries to go a different way. But anyway, point is, Kratos was laying down. And I guess he thought that Paco was trying to try to lay on the, the little peat mat or whatever. Even though Paco was just literally trying to pass. And he did the whole barking thing. And so, basically, long story short, um, and it's not just with Paco. I know I've said Paco in these situations. Also with Jack in regards to the heating pad as well. And so... He's just starting to like trying to you know control certain things more, which just shows that he's he's maturing. He's not fully mature yet. Um, the little boy still doesn't mark. Um, you know, he uh, oh, Jack has nasty feet now. I wish they would just pull it away. Like they were trying to avoid it, but they were clearly not doing enough to avoid it. <laughs> yeah, all you have to do is come this direction. Anyway. I have a little paw washer that they'll definitely be in use tonight um, before they come inside my house. Anyway, point is, uh, Kratos has started to kind of control things inside the house, and all the dogs are really okay with letting him have it. So nobody's really like, oh, you know, kind of testing his patience. Uh, so I'll probably be the next dog to do that, and I don't know how far Kratos' patience will go, tolerance will go in regards to Samara. Um, at least because. You guys see Samara. Samara literally spends half of her time just trying to crawl over Kratos and whatever and trying to, you know, really trying to dominate him um, as much as she can in a little small size. So I do imagine at one point uh, Kratos is going to be like, okay, look, you're not allowed to do this anymore. I'm not going to accept it. Um, when that's going to happen, I don't know. Because um, Samara is technically a puppy, but you know. Look at him. Yeah, he tried to. I don't think he hit anything. I think he was trying to fit through that gap with the with the um, the stick. And the stick just wasn't going to fit through without any protesting. <laughs> um, anyway, you guys. So um, yeah, a little update. I'll actually get that stuff up video. I realize that I talk about a lot of stuff, but oh, the dogs are doing this, but I don't actually show. Mostly because my house is a mess a lot of the times. <sighs> I still gotta do Samara's embark test, which. Um, I mostly, like, I have her pedigree, so I know she's a pure bit dog or team mastiff, but, um, I do, I would like to know of any possible genetic issues that she might have, so that's the reason why I did that. I did the same thing for Kratos, um, for those of you guys who weren't around, um, at that time, and he's completely clear. He has, he has something going on, I actually can't remember, but it's, it's not, um, life-threatening, it's just something like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll have to actually get information, because... On it, but like no hip dysplasia, no heart issues, no hearing issues, nothing like that. That's kind of common in large breed dogs or just white dogs, um, which is like the hearing thing. But yeah, anyway, guys, you guys listening ramble, they're currently laying in oh, weeds. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this area. I think next year's gonna be my, my year to kind of fix up the house, but honestly, we'll see. Things are just so expensive nowadays, you guys. I know it's because, like, there's shortages going on with labor, and then apparently there's also just general sort shortages with, um, with materials like metal and stuff, so um, we'll see if things actually change up next year. Who knows? Hi. Hi, pretty boy. He's such a puppy face. Like, he's, he's a big boy, but then he puts his ears back, and it's just like, okay, that's definitely a puppy face right there. <laughs> Y'all better not get sick tonight. Y'all gonna be in y'all kennel. Be in this stuff. Fun fact. Well, so we have break times in their classes. So Jack's class on Mondays and Kratos' class on Wednesdays. They have break times. And so I always take them out to use the bathroom, right? If they need to use the bathroom. 
And if it's hot, water too, but usually I try to stay away from water, especially with Kratos because he just, he's a Peabody. But anyway, um, so, and every time it's actually break time and we're out there trying to use the bathroom, they never do. They just literally sit down and do this. Well, not necessarily sit, they, they stand, but they literally do this. Like, they just, they're like, oh, new place to eat grass. And that's what they do. Instead of using the bathroom, this is what they do. This is my dog's a part goat. Um, anyway, but yeah, Kratos is still young. Like, see, he's, he's peeing right now, and there's no foot up. There's also another male inside, uh, his class. So, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before. There's literally a male pit bull that's literally, if Kratos was a pit bull, that would be this male. The male, like, he's, the male is white, um, you know, just, you know, smaller, of course, you know, he's a pit bull. Um, I think he's three years old, but... Um, you know, absolutely gorgeous. His name's Ghost. Um, and, but he has his testicles and everything like that. He's unneutered. Um, and, like, I think Ghost, like, I'm not sure what it is. I think it might be fear because he spends half his time just barking and trying to go after uh, other dogs. Um, but regardless, like, Ghost had potted outside and I walked over there with, with Kratos. Like, okay, yeah, Kratos is gonna mark, you know, he's feeling himself, he's being a male. And Kratos didn't care. He did this. Like, literally just ate grass. I'm just like, you don't smell the, the intact male that just peed right there. And, like, the male literally peed there. Cause he was, like, across from us at first. And so he literally peed there. And you do the, the thing where the dogs kind of, um... So it looks like they're wiping their feet on the grass. And that's just them scenting. Um, literally did that. And Kratos did not care. So, boy, is still a puppy. Boy, is still a puppy. He's a big puppy. But he's a puppy. All right. Anyway, guys, I hope they enjoyed this time where they did. Uh, they played nicely, I will say that, but. And Jack is panting. I really wish Kratos would have been worked out a little bit more before I brought Samar out, but, um. Maybe I'll give it another three minutes just so they can chill out here for 20. Um, but otherwise, I'm gonna bring Jack inside, swap her out with Samara, and you guys will see that video shortly. So, but, um, yeah, I'll give them another three minutes. Um else is going on nothing much i actually do oh yeah i do have to actually go to the vet today before six how am i dressed like right now like a bum um <laughs> i have my pajamas i literally just changed my top and wear pajama bottoms because i work from home and i have meetings that really only require me to show my face and like my shoulders so i need to wear like a decent shirt you know maybe put some earrings and stuff on but Otherwise, I don't have to do much else. Uh, maybe I can ask them for the call and see if they can just bring them out. That's what they're doing during COVID. That way, the most I have to do is get out of my car. If that, but we'll see. But yeah, I actually might need to end this a little bit earlier so that I can make sure I can have time to get up there. So, um, I'll end this now, you guys. So, um, but yeah, thanks for joining us. Sorry about the delay. I will try. Uh, I mean, it's the weekend coming up, so I'll definitely be able to have time to do more videos. But, um... I'm not going to take this weekend to do a lot of resting like I did this past weekend. I'm actually going to try to um, get some videos done. I need to take some more out um, for some socialization, so I'll be trying to do that. And, um, and they're supposed to have daily play times. Like, look at his tail. Gosh dang it. Um, those are little things. They're like, they're like seeds from some kind of weed out here that just stick on the fur. It's pretty easy with, this, with Kratos. With Paco wants to come out here and he gets like covered in them and they're like, well, it doesn't matter, you guys. Anyway, point is, I'm about to end this video here. Plan on doing some socialization with, with Samara this weekend, so look out for that. Um, yeah, and otherwise, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.